In this video, I'll show you the simplest method for color grading your photos. So I'll be sharing a few examples. So stay with me for the next five minutes. Okay, let's do this. So let's just pretend you're done retouching this photo and you want to color grade this image, but you don't know where to start from or you just don't know how to color grade. Let me just show you how you can color grade this image in less than a minute. So I'm going to go on layer here and then I'm going to go to new adjustment layer and then I'm going to select gradient map here. So this box is going to pop up. Let me just move it here so that we can see what's happening. On color here, I'm going to leave it the way it is. On mode, I'm going to change it to soft light. I'm going to take my opacity to 30% like this. And then I'm going to click OK. Uh, so from here, I'm just going to double click on the gradient map here. So this box is going to pop up. Let me just move it here so that we can see what's happening. Here, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. On type here, I'm going to change it from solid to noise. So roughness here, I'm going to take it to 20%. I'm just going to type 20 here. I'm not going to change these. On options here, I'm going to make sure strict colors here is checked. This box, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So I'll just click on randomize here. Let me just move this guy here so that we can see what's happening this side. So I'll just keep going through the color grades here until I like something. Okay, um, I think I like this one. I'm just going to click OK here. Let me just close this. So this is our before, this is our after, this is our before, this is our after. Uh, so let me just zoom in a little bit. So if you want to remove the effect from the eyes, just go on the tools here and then select the brush. Opacity, set it to 100%. Flow, set it to 100%. Since the layer mask here is white, click on this icon until black comes on top. And then I'm just going to paint where I don't want this effect to be. So I don't want it in my model's eyes like this. So this is the before, this is the after. I can zoom out, control plus zero on the keyboard. So this is the before, this is our after, this is the before, this is our after. So we are done. So let's move to this image. I'm going to go on layer here, new adjustment layer, and then I'm going to select gradient map here. This box is going to pop up. I'm going to go on mode here. I'm going to change it from normal to soft light. Opacity, I'm going to set it to 30%. And then I'm going to click OK. From here, I'm just going to double click here. And then I'm going to go on type here. I'm going to change it from solid to noise. Loughness here, I'm going to change it to 30%. Here, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So make sure this icon is checked. I'm just going to click on randomize here. Like this, I'll just go through these colors. I think I like this one. And uh, then I'm going to click OK here. So let me just close this. I love what I've done to this image, but I want to make it pop. Uh, so I'm going to go to my actions here. I'm just going to click on the action button here. And then I'm going to go down here and then I'm going to select face pop here like this. So this is the before, this is our after. Let me just zoom in a little bit, control plus on the keyboard. So this is the before, this is our after, this is the before, this is our after. This is the before everything, this is our after, this is the before, this is our after. So the face pop is in my beauty retouching actions pack. I'll put the links to where you can download my beauty retouching actions pack in the video description below. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So let's see what we can do with this image. So I'm going to go on layer here, new adjustment layer, and then I'm going to select gradient map here. So I'm going to go on mode here. I'll change it from normal to soft light. Opacity, I'm just going to type 30 here, and then I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to double click on the gradient map here. And this box is going to pop up. So on type here, I'm going to change it from solid to noise. Roughness here, I'm going to put 20%. I'm just going to click on randomize here, like this. I love this. So I'm just going to click OK. So this is the before, this is the after. So if you're not feeling this color grid and you want to change it, just double click here. Keep on clicking on randomize here, like this. I think I like this one. And then I'm going to click OK. So this is the before, this is our after, 
this is the before this is our after let me just close this so with this image to just make it pop i'm just going to add contrast to this image so i'm going to go to my actions here and then i'm going to go to my beauty retouching actions pack and then i'm going to select contrast here like this so let me just close this so this is the before this is our after this is the before this is our after if the effect is too much i can just reduce the opacity here so let's just move to this example so i'm going to go on layer here and then new adjustment layer and then gradient map here on mode here we'll change it from normal to soft light opacity here 30 percent and then i'm going to click ok i'm going to double click here so on type here i'm going to change it from solid to noise roughness here i'm going to put 20 percent i'll just keep going through these color grades here i love this so i'm just going to click okay so this is the before this is the after let me just close this this is the before this is our after this is the before this is our after so what you can do from here is to export these images if you want to learn the best way to export your images you should check this video on top and if you want to learn how to retouch using my beauty retouching actions pack you should check this video down here